Welcome or welcome back to I Need Help at C Squared. In this example, we have a polynomial inequality, a quadratic, if you want to call it like that, that's fine. And the first thing you want to do is to set up this inequality equals to zero. Now find out when this uh, polynomial is equals to zero. And in this case, we can factor out 5x, GCF, right? And then we have here negative x plus 1. So we're going to get the two solution. One is coming from 5x equals 0, which is going to give me x equals 0. And the other one is going to be negative x plus 1 equals 0, which is going to give me x equals 1. Okay, and these are the two values that I'm going to put them on this table. The first one, obviously, is going to be 0. The second one is going to be 1. And I'm going to put a 0 on both values of the polynomial is 0. And a first value that I will have in my mind in this case will be 2, uh, which is a right of 1. If you put 2 here in this factor form, you end up with 5 times 2, which is a positive number, and negative 2 plus 1 is a negative number. So this will be negative here. Um, then you can you can try a number less than zero, uh, like negative one, and you're gonna notice it's gonna be negative also. Plug it in, and the problem will be between zero and one. Those are fraction, right? Like one half. You can you can try it and plug it in. You will notice the value will be positive. There is an alternation of sign in this case. Um, so now we're going to look back to our original problem, which says uh, greater or equal zero. So the interval will be zero to one. Between zero and two and one, this uh, polynomial will be greater than zero. That is the answer. You can see also the graphical approach here, and you notice the function is on top of the x-axis. So it's positive, it's greater or equals to 0 between 0 and 1. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.